Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. A Grambling School Board member and 15 others arraigned on charges in the alleged fake GOP elector scheme. I will waive the reading provided that <clears throat> Ms. Fashino, are you aware of the charges? Do you understand the charges and the maximum penalties? Yes. Amy Facinello and the others are facing six felonies, including forgery and election law forgery. Facinello pleaded not guilty. Her next court date is next Friday, August 18th. School board recall language has been filed against Facinello. It is still pending approval by the Election Commission. A local police department hopes to add to its ranks. Flint PD hosted a hiring fair this afternoon. A lieutenant says the fair is a great way to get to know the force. They allow us to, number one, meet our community. I mean, show some community policing as far as like the people coming up, being able to actually meet and talk to a police officer and get information on reference to uh, what we're doing out here today. Anyone interested in patrolling the streets of Flint will have to complete a 16 to 18 week course at the Flint Police Training Academy, pass a written exam and complete on the job training. Genesee Valley Center back open days after two water main breaks shut down dozens of stores. The Flint Township Fire Marshal told TV5 two breaks happened just outside the building Sunday afternoon. He added there was no damage to the inside of the mall. Now here's Chris with your forecast. David, low temperatures fall to the 40s and 50s for tonight. Should be a very pleasant night. And then tomorrow, looks like we have a chance to warm back up into the 70s. A few low 80s are possible if the rain holds off long enough. Your TV5 first alert. Uh, pinpoint Doppler radar tonight shows at least a few spotty showers left over, but those should wind down here very soon. Skies are clearing out in most places and should be a pretty nice night. As we head through the hour-by-hour -hour forecast, we'll start the day Friday dry with some sun. Eventually, some showers and storms return for the afternoon thinking the best chances around 2 p.m. and onward into the evening hours. It may not be a constant rain, but the chance will be there uh, pretty much through the evening and early overnight. There is a slight risk or excuse me, a marginal risk for severe weather, which is more of an isolated risk. We expect most storms to stay below severe limits, but something we'll be watching for as we head through the day on Friday. Your TV5 first alert seven day forecast shows a mostly dry weekend temperatures next week, largely in the 70s with our next best chance for rain coming on Monday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.